Welcome to Did You Know, Now and Then, where we compare life in the present to life in the past. Today we go back to school and compare the way pupils were taught in the old days with how they're taught today. Number one, the classroom. In past centuries, classes could contain up to 100 pupils, often only girls or only boys, because most of the schools were single gender. And the schools could be pretty strict. Students would sit politely on wooden benches for fear of caning. For writing, they'd have slates or inkwells. Today, schools educate both boys and girls, at least in most countries, and school equipment has taken a great leap forward. Pupils nowadays work with computers, overhead and video projectors, eat lunch in the cafeteria, and get their homework done under parental supervision. And classes today are much smaller compared to earlier days. A normal class now contains around 30 pupils. Number two, pupils and teachers. There was a time when teachers had to have second jobs in order to earn enough money to live off. Teaching was also mainly a male profession, and pupils usually had the same teacher for all their studies. And it was not over when the bell rang. After school, children would be expected to work in the fields and help their parents in doing chores. Well, you won't find pupils working in the fields after school today, and as a result, they have much more free time than they used to. And teaching as a job has a much better reputation, and it's become more specialised, with different teachers for different subjects. Number three, education. Children usually have to go to school for nine years. The teacher has a curriculum, but there's some variety in how they're taught, with group work, school trips, audiovisual projects, and so forth. In the past, some subjects were only taught to certain pupils depending on their gender, and boys were often exposed to corporal punishment. Teaching, in general, was almost military-like. So what's your take on early teaching methods and whether they've improved? And what was your school life like? Would you like to give it another go? Let us know in the comments section below. Did you know that cosmetic surgery was already being practiced in 600 BC? Watch how it developed in a previous episode of Did You Know right here. Or check out some top lists. Or search our channel for some hidden gems. There's 85,000 historic films to enjoy.